Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering plural possessive nouns. So in our last video, we talked about singular possessive nouns. So if you haven't seen that, you probably should. And then come right on back for this one. Okay, so the difference between singular possessive nouns and plural possessive nouns is that with a singular possessive, you have one thing owning some stuff. And with a plural possessive, you have multiple things owning some stuff. So what would that look like exactly? Well, what if we had multiple boys, let's say two, who shared a bedroom. So if it were singular possessive, as in one boy had that room, it would be the boy's room, boy apostrophe s. But now we have multiple boys owning that same room. So instead of starting with the singular form and adding apostrophe s, we have to start with the plural form because, you know, we're talking about more than one boy. So once we have the plural form, all we need to do to make it possessive is add an apostrophe at the very end. So we could say something like, the boy's room is messy. Write the standard plural form, boys, B-O-Y-S, and then just add an apostrophe. Let's try another. What if we had a bunch of girls, maybe 10 or 20, and they all shared a locker room? Now, remember, it's about the number of girls, not the number of locker rooms. So since we have multiple girls, we would start with the word girls, G-I-R-L-S, which is the regular plural form. And then to make it possessive, we just add an apostrophe at the end. So we could say something like, the girls' locker room is really big. One more. What if we had several players and all of their shoes were the same color? Well, we'd start with players, which is the regular plural form of that word, and we'd just add an apostrophe to the end. So, I don't know, something like, the player's shoes were all the same color. So that's it. Pretty simple, right? If you've got one dog that has a bone, it would be the dog's bone, D-O-G apostrophe S. And if you had multiple dogs that shared a bone, it would be the dog's bone, D-O-G-S apostrophe. And as long as you make sure that the possessive noun and the thing that it owns are right next to each other in the sentence, you're all good. Except hold on, what if our plural word doesn't end with S? What if we have multiple people who have, I don't know, very big houses? Well, here's the rule. You already know that to make a noun singular possessive, you just write the singular form and add apostrophe S in all situations. Cat becomes cats, boy becomes boys, Shoe becomes shoes. And you now know that to make a plural possessive noun, you just write the plural form of the word and add an apostrophe at the end. Cats becomes cats. Boys becomes boys. Shoes becomes shoes. But if you have a plural word that does not end with S and you want to make it possessive, you're actually going to use the singular rule and add apostrophe S. So let's go to the one I said earlier. The people's houses are very big. Notice, people is plural, but it doesn't end with an S like most other plural words. So we can't just add an apostrophe at the end and call it good. Instead, we've got to do apostrophe S. How about this? The men's section is quite nice. Again, men is plural, but it doesn't end with an S like most other plural words. So we can't just add an apostrophe at the end. We've got to do apostrophe S. This one. The women's clothes aren't very cool. Again, women is plural, but it doesn't end with an S like most other plural words. So we cannot just add an apostrophe. We've got to add apostrophe S. Okay, so here are your rules. If you want to make a singular possessive noun, you just take the singular, one, form of that noun, and add apostrophe s, all the time, in all cases, no matter what. It doesn't matter what letter the word ends with. If it's singular possessive, it has apostrophe s. 
If you wanna make a plural possessive noun, and the plural form of that noun naturally ends with an S, just write the plural form out and add an apostrophe at the end. But if you want to make a plural possessive noun and the plural form of that noun doesn't end with an S, you would write the plural form and add apostrophe S. And remember, no matter what type of possessive noun you are using, the possessive noun and the thing that that noun possesses must be right next to each other in the sentence. That might actually be the most important thing about all of this. Okay, let's try something. I'm gonna give you a word, and you're gonna come up with the different forms of that word. We're going to start with cat. All I want is the singular version of the word cat. Not singular possessive, just singular. There should be no apostrophe, just singular. Answer is, it's not rocket science, cat, just cat. Don't overthink it. That's the basic singular form. Now, what would be the singular possessive form of cat? What if I had one cat and it owned or possessed something? How would I write that form? Answer is cat apostrophe S. Now, what if I wanted the plural form of the word cat? Not possessive, no ownership, no apostrophe, just the basic plural version of the word. Just more than one cat. Should be cats, C-A-T-S. And finally, what if I wanted the plural possessive form of cat? Multiple cats and they own something. That would be C-A-T-S apostrophe. Let's pick up the pace. What is the basic singular form of the word kid? Singular, not possessive. Should be kid. Now, what would be the singular possessive form of kid? That one kid owns something. That's right, K-I-D apostrophe S. Now how about the regular plural form of kid? Regular plural, not possessive. Good, K-I-D-S. And finally, the plural possessive form of kid. Multiple kids, and they all own some stuff together. Give yourself a point if you said K-I-D-S apostrophe. Good. Last one, child. What is the basic singular form of the word child? Good, just child. What about the singular possessive form that one child own something. Right, child apostrophe s. Good. And now, what about the basic plural form of child? Regular plural, not possessive. Good, children. Now, how about the plural possessive form of child? Now watch out, be careful here. We've got a plural word that doesn't end with an s. So for our plural possessive, we can't just add an apostrophe to the end because there's no S. So what do we do instead? Can you remember? Well, we've got to roll with the singular rule and add apostrophe S. So children's like this. Okay, so final reminder, sound like a broken record here. To make a singular noun possessive, simply add apostrophe S all the time in all cases, no matter what. To make a plural noun possessive, Start with the basic plural form. If that form already has an S on it, simply tag an apostrophe at the end. Whatever side. And if that plural noun does not end with an S, simply add apostrophe S like you would with your singular possessives. Anyway, whether you came here for a refresher or are just now learning this stuff for the first time, I hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.